What is up guys, it's BT back here again with another review. Today we have the Beats Solo 3 Wireless. Now these boast the new W1 chip by Apple. It was announced at the iPhone event. Still no MacBook Pro, but nonetheless they released the iPhone and the new W1 technology. So this bodes well for pairing, for better battery life, and just overall connectivity. Now it's still Bluetooth. It's still connecting through regular Bluetooth, but the chip helps it give better battery life and to have a better stable connection. Now Apple has also put in a feature where you can charge these headphones for five minutes and you will get three hours of playback time. That is incredible. That is unheard of. And this W1 chip is the real deal, let me tell you guys. So if you're looking for something that's easy to use, you're in the right place. Now Apple set out to change the game with this W1 chip, and I feel like they have. It may seem small in the beginning, but I feel like they can build upon this, and they're pushing wireless towards the right direction. Nobody else is doing this. Nobody else is putting 40 hours of battery life into their headphones. Nobody is putting this quick charge feature in. Nobody's putting it, trying to improve the connectivity to the point where you will never get any interruptions. That is incredible. So I feel like they have really succeeded in changing the game, at least for now, even though it seems small, at least for now they have changed the wireless game for the better. It's less time on a cord charging. Now let's move in to the comfort, the design of these headphones. Now, what I can tell you guys, I know somebody in my comments said, well, I look like a fool if I have the Beats 2.0s studios. And I can tell you that they haven't really changed the design on these whatsoever. I like that they kept the LEDs on the side of the headphone where you can see how much battery you have. It has five LED lights and it, ha and it boasts 40 hours of music. So that means each one of these dots is eight hours. So you can kind of figure how much you have left and th that is incredible. My studios do not last me this long. About two dots is about two to three hours. They still boast this plastic band, one piece, and this plastic cushion up here. The best part of this, these headphones are the, the ear pads. These feel premium. Everything else kind of feels a little borderline cheap. Uh, especially like the hinges. I know this side of my hinges don't sound as good as this side. This side is a little bit more tough than the other side. So I don't know if that's a quality issue or what, but there's some things where you expect when you pay $300 plus tax to get. And with these, with Beats, we all know that we're paying for that marketing. We're paying for the name, for the Apple, for the Beats name. And you know what? If you're okay with that, that's one thing. If you're not okay with that, you're going to probably end up hating these. But moving on. I will say that these cups are very nice. They move and contour to your head, no matter if you have a big, small head, medium head, whichever. And they also fold up. They also have these hinges that fold up. And now I have the studios, and those hinges have not broken on me. They have not been loose. They've snapped into place every single time. So I have faith that these will do the same. I'm not really worried about that. The only thing I would worry about is the band breaking. Now they include a case, but that case is cloth it's not hard why would they not for three hundred dollars help you protect your three hundred dollar investment and put in some hard shell cases i don't get it apple i mean that's a minor gripe i mean for me it's a big thing because if you're traveling if you're throwing them in your bag for the gym it could be a problem if you forget to take them off your seat and you sit down It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. That could be a problem. They also come with a cable if you want to just plug them in to your phone. They updated, I had the old solos and the button on these seem a lot better. It seems a lot more clickier so you don't have to press and maybe break the remote like a lot of people were doing. So it seems like they fixed that. It's a little minor adjustment. There's no real 
a difference in design. I feel like they just put in the W1 chip when it comes to the design of these headphones. Now let's move on to the sound. The sound on these, they've cleaned them up as well. They've cleaned up the bass, the mids. The highs are still kind of lackluster, but these are supposed to be a fun headphone. They're made for when you go to an Apple store and you are looking at like Apple products and you say, oh, let me put these on and listen to a top 40 song, they're gonna sound amazing. They're gonna have that deep bass, they're gonna have good mids for the vocals, which translates to fun. And people want fun, and a casual listener wants fun. You know, audiophiles will probably get on these and hate these, but the average consumer wants fun. And I can say that these deliver, and that's one thing where people hate on beats, which I never got is that they're made for lower end, bass, and mids. So if you're EDM or rap or hip hop or R&B or even a little bit of jazz, they're great. But that's what they, they're for. You're buying the beats knowing that that's what they're for. If there are other options out there, if you wanna have something more balanced with something more clarity, with more highs, but these sounded really good for what they're for. And they also boast soundstage, which I know a lot of headphones don't have. And I was surprised with these small ear cups that they were actually able to make it sound like something was behind me and something was in front of me and something was to left, right. And it was really amazing. So this translates really well for movie watching. There's no lag during movies and lips being off and things like that. So definitely worth picking up if you're into those genres. I can tell you that right now. If you're into rock, you might be able to skip over them. So I hope this translates into other companies kind of using the same technology, maybe the W1 buying this chip, putting it in the, into their headphones and giving that connectivity. Now I use these in the gym and I notice no, no breakups, no interruptions of people. My girlfriend has beats and I was working out with her and I didn't notice any of that uh, distortion or anything like that. So that was, this chip is the real deal guys i kid you not it's the real deal so in closing if you want a bass heavy headphone that is pretty clear it's clear in the mids as well with the good vocals you listen to a lot of like like i said r&b rap top 40 pop songs they're all going to sound great on these then by all means go for it if you have the extra money go for it if you're somebody that is wondering why do i need a w1 chip I, could, I already have the Solo 2s, stay with the Solo 2s. You will have no issues there. But if you're an audiophile and you're looking for clarity and highs and something to smash all genres, look elsewhere. These are very tailored for a certain market and they do that market really well, I can say that. And these are meant to be a fashion statement as well. So. You're paying for, you know what you're paying for when you get these haters alike. We all know what the Beats brand is about. So can we really blame them? Not really. Uh, they're going to do what they're going to do. And they're smashing the market. If you guys want any more recommendations or need help with any purchasing, let me know in the comments below. I will be more than help, uh, glad to help you guys. Thank you guys for watching. It's been BT and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.